Hello everyone, in this video I am going to give an introduction about Neutronologies V2 uh, which is the latest release of Neutronologies and also we are going to compare the latest release with the older versions of Neutronologies we are going to check the improvements uh, of JavaScript API of Neutronologies in uh, earlier versions we had uh, these kind of methods uh, for an example uh, debug log method in those methods we had a uh, lot of uh, parameters for an example in this uh, method we have a type and message and also uh, several callbacks but in uh, the latest version uh, we made it a uh, little bit different uh, we only have one uh, parameter which is options object inside the option object uh, we have uh, message type and message content uh, like uh, input parameters and also we have two callbacks uh, of on success and on error and uh, this on success will be triggered uh, will be called uh, if uh, the method uh, the, the particular method uh, was successful otherwise this uh, on error callback will be triggered in the future we are going to remove those uh, two things as well this on uh, success and on error because we can introduce promises uh, which is better than this uh, callback method and uh, we improved uh, server uh, error handling as well earlier it was a little bit hard to uh, determine uh, errors coming from uh, neutronology's uh, server uh, then but in the latest version v2.0 and uh, we improved that a uh, little bit uh, now uh, on error uh, callback will be triggered if there's uh, any backend issue backend error uh, coming from neutronology's server we did uh, changes to the main configuration file of Neutrinologies. Earlier the configuration file uh, was uh, settings.json and uh, the settings.json uh, was in this app directory. App directory was some kind of fixed directory in uh, earlier versions but uh, in the latest version the file was uh, renamed to neutralino.config.json and uh, the file can be found at uh, this uh, root directory uh, of your project and um, the structure is also different and we improved the structure earlier we had uh, some uh, properties like app name and also app port and mod likewise and also importantly this uh, blacklist thing uh, the block listing uh, was in the cloud uh, mode only and uh, but in the latest version we did uh, some improvements and uh, we have now application id port and default mode and likewise importantly uh, as i mentioned in the previous version uh, we had uh, block list in uh, inside this uh, cloud uh, property but uh, here it is in the uh, top level uh, the parent level meaning uh, the uh, you can block any uh, thing any uh, native call uh, for all the modes for window mode cloud mode and uh, browser mode likewise Security is very important factor in all uh, frameworks, so we took a uh, look into this factor as well. We did uh, some improvements in security uh, area, especially in network security. Earlier, uh, if we are running some application, Neutronologies application uh, on a, a computer, uh, if there is some public network, then other people also uh, has uh, access to the uh, application backend. But uh, now with the latest version we blocked it, only uh, in the cloud mode uh, other people uh, in the same network has access to the uh, application backend. If uh, the application is running uh, on other modes like window and browser, then uh, they will be not having any access uh, to the application backend. Our router module implementation also was uh, improved a lot uh, because the static file server was very limited and uh, uh, having uh, like uh, very limited uh, features and we improved it in uh, the latest version earlier this assets folder was uh, a fixed directory and uh, developers had to put all their resources inside the assets folder but in the latest version uh, they can define their own uh, directory structure and they can put uh, their resources uh, inside any uh, directory as th they wish but uh, they don't need to create assets directory they can create uh, directories like resources application or whatever they like we improved this native interface protocol as well earlier we had uh, this kind of uh, url format for native calls uh, in that moment uh, 
we couldn't identify easily uh, the difference between the uh, normal uh, request re normal resource request and native code now uh, we can easily identify because uh, we changed the url format and we added native method uh, like text here then we can easily identify which one is uh, uh, resource request and which one is uh, uh, native code now the project uh, structure is also different uh, compared to the older versions as i mentioned this assets directory is uh, earlier the kind of fixed directory and also this app directory as well but in the latest version we improved it and uh, now developers can uh, uh, add their own folder structure and uh, add resource files uh, into uh, their required uh, directories as well they don't need to create app and assets directories uh, to put their resources they can create their own uh, directory formats or folder names to put uh, the resource files and regarding the uh, templates earlier uh, we had a lot of uh, templates like uh, AngularJS template and uh, React template and Kotlin template. Likewise, there were like lot of uh, templates uh, that uh, developers can choose. But uh, in the latest version, we uh, decided to remove all the uh, pre-created uh, uh, templates and we added one called blank template. It is kind of a minimal template uh, that uh, has NeutrinoJS application structure. And then our idea is to give kind of a very flexible development en environment for all the developers then uh, developers can uh, create applications using their uh, favorite uh, front-end framework they can use uh, angular or they can use uh, uh, react like uh, frameworks so the idea is to give some kind of minimal uh, folder structure then uh, developers can uh, decide uh, which framework they are going to use which front-end frameworks uh, they will be using uh, to create uh, neutralizers applications this is one of most important change or improvement uh, in NeutralNodeJS v2.0 release. In v2.0 release, uh, we are introducing uh, a new uh, rendering environment for Windows uh, version. Now we are using uh, Edge Chromium or Edge HTML as the uh, web browser component. Earlier, compared to v2.0, in our earlier versions, we had the uh, IE uh, browser component, which is uh, missing all latest uh, JavaScript features, like promises, uh, likewise. But uh, in the latest version, we can use any uh, latest thing, because the, the Edge HTML and Edge Chromium uh, things are, the components are supporting uh, the latest JavaScript features. But importantly, if uh, in this uh, version, in the, the latest version, we need to execute this command in order to uh, successfully execute the uh, NeutronoJS applications only in Windows platform. Because uh, the NeutronoJS uh, application is using the uh, UWP process uh, to get uh, the application working. So uh, we just need to expose uh, the local hostings into the UWP applications. So basically we just need to execute this one with administrator permissions uh, in order to execute uh, NeutralNodeJS application properly on Windows platform.